Okay, so the days are starting to count down until Halloween, so I thought that for this month and for next month I would start to introduce a few Halloween related or themed videos to share with you. And I'm sure you can already tell from the thumbnail and the video title that today I'm going to share with you my top 5 cozy mysteries that I would like to read within the next couple of months in the lead up to Halloween. Some of them are rereads and some of them are books that I haven't read yet, but all of them are books that I am excited about. So the first book on my list is Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie, which coincidentally is also the name of the tea that I'm drinking, which is one of the teas that I have blended for my Halloween range for my tea shop. This book is a book that I haven't read yet that I'm really excited to read because Agatha Christie has a wit and a sense of humour about her that I just absolutely love reading every time I read any of her books. Plus it has a movie adaptation coming out in November that I desperately want to see, but I always insist on reading the books before I see the movies, which means I need to get onto it pretty Pretty soon. The second book on my list is Murder at the Vicarage, also by Agatha Christie, which is the first book in her Miss Marple mystery series. Honestly, any of the Miss Marple books would probably make it onto this recommended list because Miss Marple has got to be one of the most hilarious protagonists that you will ever come across. Seriously, who doesn't want to read about a mystery that's being solved by your local busybody grandma? Like. That sounds amazing. I wish my grandma was that sassy. The third book on the list is a reread, which is the number one ladies detective agency. I have mentioned this pretty much ever since my very first ever bookshoot video because this series is just so nostalgic and so incredibly warm hearted. It features a gorgeous protagonist by the name of Mara Motsway and is set in Botswana and is just interlaced with some beautiful outlooks on life and morals and some just genuinely gorgeous insights into Botswanan culture as well. Fourth book on my list is one for the money by Janet Ivanovich. This series is another reread for me but it's a reread that I constantly go back to whenever I'm feeling a bit downhearted and like I need something lighthearted and fun to read to pick me up again. This also features a hilarious protagonist in the form of Stephanie Plum who gets a job as a bounty hunter because she literally cannot hold down any other job. The final book on this list is On What Grounds by Cleo Coyle. This is the first book in what I believe is called the Coffee House Mystery Series and was recommended to me by Courtney from the booktube channel Court Hagonist. It sounds like it is going to be filled with a lot of coffee puns and apparently even features some coffee related recipes interspersed throughout it so I'm very excited to read this book because I think that it will be quite entertaining as well as apparently a reasonably good mystery as well. So that was my short and very sweet video of cozy mysteries that I am excited to read to get me in the mood for Halloween in the upcoming months. Let me know what cozy mysteries or non cozy mysteries you might like to read to get in the mood for Halloween down below in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in some other video very shortly, I am sure. And until then, as always, stay classic. Set the hair and count your fingers.